Hi, it's Donna from Past and Pages. So I'm back with the last part in this series of how to make a grungy envelope junk journal. This is part 12. And um, I added this piece of twine to the one we're making because it's really kind of getting chunky and wanting to kind of pop up like that. Um, and I did add my seal. I'm sorry I didn't do that on camera. Um, but I was only had a little wax left and I was kind of holding my breath hoping that gold would be enough to do it. And it turned out fine, but I was a little bit unsure what, about it. So, um, but anyway, so I have the cover. I think that's the way I want it. Um, and so we only have two spots left to cover and that's this and this and my hands are a mess because I've been experimenting with some um, fabric and stuff but so we have here and here and this is going to be the back of it so I just took a piece of craft cardstock scrapbook paper similar to this and I cut it down and I distressed around the edges with my scissors and grunged it up with vintage photo. And I added some age tape because I did tear it or cut into it when I was using my scissors. But, you know, that just gave me a reason to use some age tape. So let me get that down. I did see in the last video that it was um, hard to see some of what I was doing because of the um, the words at the bottom of the video. So, I'll try to keep it further up so that you can see better. But, hello to all the new subscribers. I so appreciate you joining. And I want you guys to put in the comments below where you want to go from here since this is the last in this series. I like a variety of styles. It seems like just personally this is the most popular style. So, um, I don't know. Just pop in the comments what, you, what you'd like to see me do. If you want to see more grunge. If you want to see other styles you know I'd love to hear what you think and what you'd like to see Got that a little bit far over but I think that'll be okay now um, after this I know one thing I have got to finish my daughter's journal. Oh, I have picked out some elements for this side that I'm going to try to get in a configuration that I like over here. Um, this is just some scrap of paper that I crumpled and grunged up. And uh, I used my deckled edge scissors on this one that I found at a thrift store. And um, so, yeah. I'm just going to put this down here and put these things down. I might need to put this down first. I can't remember what the final arrangement was. But back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, my uh, I got to get my daughter's journal finished and then the mail to her. Something like that is what I'm going to go with. We have that a little higher up. So I do need to put this one down first. But I made my daughter a um, journal. I, I really like it. But it's totally not grungy at all. It's, um, well, I say not at all. There might be a tag or two in there that's 
coffee dyed or something, but most of it is just white. And for the longest time, I didn't like it, like white at all. But my, um, I don't know what you'd call it. My preferences have grown since. Um, I've been working, crafting and stuff that my horizons have expanded, I guess you'd say. Um, so I found that I, I do like a lot of different things. I really love grunge, the grungy stuff. Um, but I like, I like other things too. So I'll probably, once I get that finished, I'll at least show you that, um, video, do a video on that, um, journal and show you how I made it. Cause I, I thought it was really cute how it turned out and how I figured out how to do it. Okay. I want this to go up under here just a little bit. Lighting's all right. It's kind of um, cloudy outside, and sometimes it really makes the lighting off. Let's just get it done because I could fiddle with it all day long probably and not be a hundred percent about it I have a tendency to take too much time sometimes That'll work. Yeah, I'd love to hear you guys in the comments talk about your favorite styles and um what you like to do you like to do the grungy or you have other styles you like as well my husband just pulled up he don't know i'm doing a video so he might come in and start talking I wanted a little bit of an angle. I'm going to kind of cover up that seam over there. Yep. I just love the script when I can find script, scrapbook paper. Just really love that. Okay. It's done and I'm happy with it. So let's do a little flip through of it so this is the cover and we have a flip down and we have an old photo is what we're pretending like it is an old photo and then a little 
kind of look like a little scrapbook or a photo album. Put some things on the back. I probably could do more to that, but I haven't done it yet. So here comes my husband getting ready to come in the house. <laughs> and he's probably going to save up. But... So, and then here's the library pocket card with scrap samplers and tags. And then here's the journal part of signature. And then here's the flip up with some writing space here and we have this flip on this side the little sampler here and journaling card in this pocket and a little scrappy bit here for writing or using to decorate and I think this one folds in better there and then we have this side, and then this is the back. So that is the grungy envelope junk journal. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Uh, what you'd like to see I didn't put a uh, I started to put lace on this I had a piece of lace that I was thinking about using uh, I was gonna grunge this up and put it around it but it covers up this so I don't know well if I I could do it like that kind of rolled up maybe and it wouldn't so that might look better that's another option to do but i don't want it to cover her and if i let it out flat it will but anyway that's just another option so thank you guys again for watching for liking for subscribing and all the encouraging comments and i will see you soon bye bye